Chris, I'm the founder of the Dublin Web Summit. The Web Summit really started two years ago with a small event with a couple of hundred people and a number of speakers from around the world. And over the last two years, it's grown to today, which is a 4,000 person event with 260 startups from all over the world exhibiting uh, and hundreds more just here uh, to pitch, to meet with investors, to demo. Uh, and it's just a massive gathering of uh, technology and companies from all over the world. So we've had to go to extreme lengths to persuade some people to fly from all over the world. So there's over 200 international speakers that have flown into Dublin. Uh, and it starts almost uh, a year ago. We usually send lots of emails. Some emails get responded to. We try then to do a Skype call. Uh, and I will chat to them on Skype about what the Dublin Web Summit is about uh, and what happens on the, on the periphery. So usually I say, there's a, we'd like you to talk. And in, in, in the past, actually, a lot of speakers that have come so like Jack Dorsey, for example, or Chad Hurley, or both, uh, on both sides of their family, have very, very strong Irish roots. And so Jack Dorsey was originally, his family name was Darcy. And when they were entering America, the immigration officer uh, just thought it was sort of silly Irish misspelling of the, of the surname Dorsey and changed Darcy to Dorsey. And then, for, henceforth, the Darcys were the Dorseys. So I've, I've traveled all over the world over the last two years, and I've met agencies that would be the equivalent of, uh, of Enterprise Ireland. And two years ago, I think I would have been in the camp where I might have been critical of Enterprise Ireland. Um, and I know there are people in Ireland who are critical of Enterprise Ireland. Uh, but having seen how other organizations work, the same elsewhere in the world that are supposed to support startups, I, I can honestly say there's no organization that I've come across in the world that is better than Enterprise Ireland in supporting startups in Ireland. They're the, they're the biggest VC, they invest in hundreds of young companies every single year, and they not only put money into them, they have a huge infrastructure uh, behind them of people who are experts in particular categories that can help get them meetings, that can advise them, that can connect them into a global network of buyers and sellers for their products. So over the last two years, I've looked closely and got a, you know, been inspired by other conferences in the United States uh, uh, and in Europe, and there's some fantastic events. Um, and we've just tried to try to focus relentlessly on creating a conference that's very much about uh, attendees. I think a lot of conferences focus on the speakers, and speakers are absolutely essential. Uh, but ultimately, you don't just come to see a speaker on stage, you also come to an event to meet other people. And so you have to facilitate uh, networking. So if you look onto the main floor, uh, just behind us are a whole range of networking areas uh, for different industries. Uh, and this evening, we have a big night out. Uh, we're taking over at seven pubs uh, on Dame Lane. Uh, and that's an opportunity for lots of different people to continue to meet, build leads, build clients, meet new clients, meet new customers. Um, and and that's, that's kind of, I guess, our, one of our guiding uh, philosophies or mantras and two, I think it's important. And I hope we do it well, but we're still only learning. And we're only two years in, I think, you know, check back with us in three more years at our kind of fifth birthday and see where, where we've gotten to.